Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to a plant haul. I don't have too many things to show you this week, but honestly, I kind of need your help a little bit because I have some plants to show you, of course, but two of them, I'm looking at them off camera now, I actually don't know what they are. They've been sold to me as something else and I will get into what they are, obviously, when I show you the plant, but I have no idea what they are. I haven't had all the time in the world to ID these and just kind of free Google these things, but if you know what they are, let me know in the comments. What I will do is when I hold up the names of the plants I'm not sure of, I will put basically what they were sold to me as and we can go from there because one of these is a Syngonium. It's not even a Syngonium. So I'm kind of, mm, what even do I have? I have no idea. I just know that whatever they were sold to me as, the idea is wrong. So let's try and get the right ID, shall we? Because I honestly feel like with the power of the internet, somebody, somebody somewhere is going to know what these plants are. Right, I have to show you one, two, three, four, five, six, six plants, and then to just give you an update on one other plant. So I'm going to get straight into it and I'm not going to waste any of your time. Let's do the small ones because the tall ones, I mean, you can kind of see some stuff back here that's basically the size of the last one I'm going to show you so I'm going to do that last because I don't have the gains to be able to carry this stuff I'm going to go grab a couple now they are less than a week old being in this shop so I've just kind of left them as they are some of them are even in their original packaging like they're not even unpacked yet I've got so much to do right the first plant I'd like to show you is actually a Syngonium now I wouldn't say I was absolutely desperate for this Syngonium but I do have a lot of love for it if you know me well you probably know that I like the more simplistic looking stuff so so it might not be too much of a surprise to people that I've kind of got these in. So the first plant I'd like to show you is this. You may or may not be able to tell. Syngonium connoisseurs among you will be able to tell. This is Syngonium Wendlandii. Wend Wendlandii. 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 I'm pretty sure it's Wendlandii. This here is Syngonium Wendlandii, and I did feature it in my Syngonium Repland Index. This is very, very similar to another one, and I can't remember the name of the other one. It begins with R, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of the other one. If you know the name of the other one I'm talking about, please write it in the comments below. No doubt I will realize this when I'm editing and I will know the name of what I mean. But this Syngonium looks very similar to another one. But I'm pretty sure this is Wendlandii. These will be with me for some time so I can grow them and propagate them on. But if I can show you them up close... Just so you can see what they're like. As I say, this is three in here. This isn't just one. So the cute thing about this Syngonium is it's it's not quite velvety to the touch. Now, I can't really describe how these feel. And if you own one of these, you might know what I'm talking about. People say that they're velvety, but it, it doesn't... It Honestly, it doesn't feel velvety to me at all. It certainly looks velvety, and it looks like it's going to feel softer than what it does. It's really hard to explain. Yeah, they're just... They're not velvety. They're just not... They look it, and they can pass for a velvet. No doubt they photograph exactly the same as a velvet, but they're kind of not. They're just kind of not. This is not the same thing as like philodendron varicosum or something like that. It's it's like, I don't know what that feeling is, but it's not what you'd think it is. Let me know if you own these and you actually agree with what I'm trying to communicate on camera, because obviously it looks a certain way, but I can't really describe how something feels to the touch. Get a leaf right up so you can really get a look at these things. See if you like the look of them. So they're nice and long and, and arrow shaped and they have a really nice, I would definitely say it's on the silver side, but it's got this beautiful silver kind of veining down the front. Now I'm pretty sure that this silverness, it doesn't stay. So as this plant gets more mature, it will lose the silver veining, which is a shame. I've mentioned this on my Syngonium Red Plant Index before, but I think if you want to keep the silver, the best thing to do is to cut from a mother plant of this. And then I believe, I can't confirm it, I haven't tried it, but I'm pretty sure that if you cut from a mother plant and say you did like, I don't know, a top cutting, whatever, I believe if the leaves turn juvenile again from a cutting, because not every plant does that, but a lot of them do, then you might start getting this back. So I guess if you wanted to have this, you could just keep using the cuttings and maybe not necessarily keep a mature one. Um, but it's a shame really that this fades because it's very, very pretty. These have been imported they've been with me a few days but honestly they're looking pretty good but I, I've said this before I've said this a million times to be honest with you these things don't really tank on import Syngoniums are fantastic to import they're great no problems whatsoever so if you want to buy an unusual plant that looks kind of cool and you're worried about when you get it in what's going to happen to it get a Syngonium of nearly any kind to be honest um, and you won't have any problems you can get some fantastic Syngoniums if that's what you're after and actually if you haven't seen my Syngonium Rare Plant 
index. I will link that down below. If you don't know what a red plant index is, it's a series I do on YouTube where I take a type of plant, e.g. Syngonium, and I'll show you like common ones, uncommon ones, rare ones, very rare, super rare, all of that sort of stuff. So if you're interested in that, I do have a playlist down below and I will link the Syngonium one so you can see it because this, it does feature. Right, so the next plant I have to talk about, I don't know what it is. And this was sold to me as Syngonium, but honestly, you can immediately tell that it kind of isn't. So I think Ben posted a photograph of this plant on the internet maybe a couple of days ago and no one really knows what it is. A few people have guessed it might be a type of, is it a dis Discoria? Is that how you say it? It's just not a Syngonium basically. So I will show you what I got and I guess you tell me what you think it is because no one's ID'd it yet. So if I try and just find a good leaf to show you because it has kind of a variegation on it but I really have to get a good leaf to show you it. Now, you're probably able to see why I thought, hey, this is a Syngonium, right? Please focus, honestly. Don't do me dirty today, camera, honestly. All these plants in the background are desperate for my attention. Come on. There. Right, you can kind of see what's going on. There is some, it's not variegation, but it's a kind of patterning down the leaf. And they obviously have these lovely long arrow-shaped leaves. Cool, right? Yeah, cool. Except there's no way this is Tingonium. I thought it was pretty suspect when I got it in anyway. But basically when I bought the plant, it looked more like this on the photograph, right? So you couldn't really tell the structure of how it grew. But when you actually take this, which is very beautiful, by the way, I, I am in love with this plant, whatever it is, um, it grows completely differently. It's like a big curly vine. If I just show you this side. I can tell today my camera is, is going to struggle quite a bit. If you can see that, you can see that it, it trails, but it has a really unique way of vining that does remind me a lot of Discoria anyway, and I do think that's why people have said it. If I can show you the back of the vine, apologies guys, this is really difficult. Can you see that? It's not vining how you'd expect an aroid to, and I don't think it is therefore an aroid. I don't know what it is. Same thing on this vine here. If I push this one up to the lens, you can just kind of see it's just a bit weird. It doesn't behave how you'd expect it to. So it's clearly not a Syngonium. I do love it though, and I will stress this. Yeah, it's really, really quite beautiful. I don't know if there's a market for it. I don't know if anybody cares. It's just something I bought because I saw it and I thought it looked different. Personally, I love it, especially when it grows like this. I think it's a hanging plant. That's absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can see. There, look at that. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness me. That might have to be a thumbnail. That's, that's quite nice. Yeah, so if you know what this bad boy might be, please feel free to go at it in the comments because so far as of yet, I don't have an ID. Obviously, my supplier thought this was Syngonium. It is not. So if we can find out together what it is, that'd be cool. Because honestly, look at this. It's like, it's kind of like mini anthuriums on a little vine. I'm really quite taken with it. I'll show you this one more time. It's so beautiful and delicate. Look at this. Please focus. Come on, camera. There you go. I think that's focusing. I'd like to think it is. It's just the most adorable thing. Look at this. It's beautiful. I love this so much. So yeah, if you know what it is, please let me know. I'll hold it up to the camera just so you get a good look. If you have any clue, please write it down in the comments. I will Google it. You can all discuss it. I don't know. Maybe you guys have seen this before. I certainly haven't. So I'm really curious, but it's very, very delicate. And I do, I feel like people would want this. I don't know. I have a few. I'm not sure how many I have. I don't know where they've gone. I thought they were down there. They've gone. I don't know if you could tell, by the way. Um, there's a lot going on in here. Do you remember the last two videos where I said things were a little bit chaotic? This is what I was talking about. I'm kind of full now. I now have trays along the floor. So there's a lot going on in here. I do have a tray full of these and I, I don't know. I don't know where it is. Where is it? Where even is it? Where even is it? Oh, they're at the back. They're at the back. I found them. They're in aisle one. I found them. I won't waste any more time on this. If you know what it is, or you think you know, or you want to have any kind of guess as to what kind of genus it is or anything, let me know in the comments because was, we, need, we need to find out. We need to get to the bottom of this. This shouldn't even be a plant hole. This should be try and ID plants with me. So this plant, again, was sold to me by a different supplier as something else. It's not. I had a quick Google of it this morning because I like to kind of confirm what things are or aren't before I film. That's why I don't tend to fully research things before I tell you about them because I haven't really had time. Obviously, before I sold these plants, they would have a full identification by that point, but they're so far off sale, it's not really a pressing issue at the minute. So anyway, this plant I bought in as Philodendron crassinervium. However, upon googling other Crassinervium, this ain't it, which leaves me with basically a no ID on this plant as well. I'll hold it up now and I'll show you what it is. It's got absolutely no roots, so it's looking, it's looking pretty shit. 
Um, this is the plant. Let me just put it over one shoulder so I can get it a little bit closer to my face. So you can kind of see what we've got going on. So what I know of Crassinervium, this part here is called the midrib, the main, the main vein, shall we say, of the leaf. On a Crassinervium, if, if the pictures on Google are telling me the truth, if it is a true Crassinervium, according to what I've seen on Google, this midrib should be like, honestly, like uncharacteristically wide of midrib on a leaf. It's quite interesting. And I think the leaves are supposed to be longer and thinner. Now, I don't know what this is. It's obviously a vining plant. I've got a lovely, juicy, dead caterpillar there. I don't know what it is, guys. It's very, very leathery, very leathery. Like that's a thick leaf. That's thicker than a lot of leaves on a lot of my philodendron. I'll show it up to you and hopefully it will try and focus on the leaf, please. On the leaf, please. It's wanting to focus somewhere over here and I don't know what it's finding, but it's finding something. If I just move to this side, it should probably focus on it. Come on, there you go. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's this weird kind of big, thick, paddly, I don't know. It's really, really chunky though. It's going to be quite a good plant in terms of hardiness. I can already tell. I don't think it's anything particularly special, not to be mean on the plant, but I don't think it's anything particularly special. Honestly, I bought this in not thinking it was anything particularly special, but I do like to try new things. Otherwise, what is the point? But again, if you know what this one is, I won't spend too long on it. Let me know. I don't know what that is. It's not the Philodendron Ruizii that I showed a few videos ago in a haul. It's not that. I can see that that is different. I'm less curious about about this one. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm more curious about the Syngonium that isn't a Syngonium. That's quite sexy. This is... it's less sexy. Let's not lie. But yeah, if you know what it is, let me know. So the next plant I have to show you, it's not an amazing specimen. And I know I say that all the time on this channel. <laughs> Take a shot for every time I've ever said that on this channel. This is a type of plant I've never had in before, I don't believe. Now I saw these in person in Thailand, like way back when, in what was that, 2019 or 2020? Was it last year I went to Thailand? I don't know, no one cares. When I went to Thailand anyway, I saw these in the nurseries and I nearly picked some up, but I, I kind of didn't at the last minute and I wish I had because the value has kind of gone up. But anyway, the plant I'd like to show you is this. I'm going to have to tip it to the camera and it's very full, but can you see this bad boy? This right here is a homolomenia, homolomenia, homolomenia rubescens variegata or variegated. And if I show you a variegated leaf, that is kind of what it looks like. I do have different levels of variegation on the leaves. This is the newest leaf. I'm going to be trying to be very gentle with it. Let me rotate it a little bit for you now. Uh, come on. Come on, camera. It's not my friend today. Can you tell? There is some variegation coming through on that. So I will try and... No, we're not doing that today. So I'll tilt this a little bit while I talk about the plant. This is variegated. I, I'm not sure if it's the super pink one. I don't think it is. Um, I've seen yellow ones, I've seen pink ones, and I've seen kind of like a pinky cream one. And this would appear to match the whole pinky cream one. Um, oh my goodness. I'm going to stand a little bit further back. Sorry, guys. I'm filming a repot with me after this. So I have my steel table in front of me and I'm, I'm making a lot of noise. I don't fully know what kind this is. I, I feel like it is the pink one, but I don't know if you can get like a white one, a yellow one, and a pink one, or as different degrees of pink or what. But you can definitely see pink in this thing. There's definitely no yellow. It is more on the pinky side, but it's probably not even going to come off pink on camera. Yeah, I think it looks more creamy white. There is tones of pink in there. And if I show you the back of the leaves, they are green and the petioles are nice and kind of like a rhubarb red. Quite pretty. If you know exactly the plant that it is that I'm talking about, let me know. Because as I say, I've never had these in before. This is also new to me. Can you tell I'm experimenting a little bit at the minute? Um, but it's a beautiful little plant and I, I do like it. It's obviously very philodendron-ish. It's kind of like a philodendron crossed with an alocasia because it looks like a philodendron up front, if that wants to focus at all. But then it grows, you can see this, like an alocasia. It's a lovely plant. I don't particularly think this is a strong specimen. We will see how it goes. I will keep you updated on this. And if it gets sexier, I will absolutely pull it out again, either on a haul or a repot or whatever, so you can see it. Really, really pretty. I just don't have much to say about it. And I have two of them and I bought them as the same thing. I'm going to do a short interlude on lifting plants up because I've got two left and they are quite large, but I just wanted to show you this because I might forget on the repot with me that I'm going to film in a bit. I just wanted to show you this. So this was, this is Mysterious Dark Boy. You, a lot of you may know him. If you don't, I bought a No ID Anthurium a while back. I can't remember when that was. It was a long time ago, right? I bought that and I've had it growing ever since. And it's, it's kind of like Mudinum, but not 
quite, I don't think. And I just wanted to show you. Oh my God, <laughs> that's really sexy. This is why I'm showing you him. I'm showing you this because one, I've been growing him. This is actually a head cutting. That's how big he is. He's quite large. Got a new leaf coming in here and he's, he's honestly, check this out. I hope this focuses. Can you see that shit? Can you see that shit? That is ridiculously nice. Look at that. And the petioles like completely and utterly burgundy. Beautiful plant. So I'm showing you this one because he's grown and he looks incredible. Look at this. Holy shit. Even just the veins on the leaf look incredible. Please focus on this. This is doing my tits in now. What do you think you can find over there that's a face? I don't understand. This plant looks absolutely gorgeous. The other leaf is... Whoa! I need to flip that round. The other leaf is there. That's the older leaf. And it is turning green, but it's turning green super slowly. This plant stays dark forever. I wanted to show you this because one, it looks amazing. I think we can all agree that this is pretty hot. I want to show you this because I have found a couple more that I think are the same. I need to find out. I need to let them grow a little bit because they're very small. So I'm growing these out and I am propagating this. So eventually you will be able to have this. I just don't know what it is and I don't really want to sell it until I know. I think a lot of people are still saying Mudinum, but mm, I, I don't know. If you want a fresh take on what you think it is based on the maturity level of this leaf that will not focus on the camera, then again, let me know. It doesn't lie flat. The leaf blade isn't flat. It is kind of like a V shape. I can tell you that. I don't know if I can show you it. You see that there? Yeah, it doesn't lie completely flat. Um, so if you know what that is, again, let me know. So far, we are calling it Mysterious Dark Boy. That is its official name. I, just, I had to show you it. I know it's a little bit of an interlude, but who, who doesn't like that? There's something wrong with you if you don't like that. Honestly. Honestly. Right, two plants left. I'm going to go grab the other one. It's got water in it. It's going to be very heavy. I've had it a while. I will tell you what it is before I go and pick it up because it's very heavy and it will save me some time. So this plant I bought from Thailand earlier on this year and I've sat on it for ages and I haven't even told you about it. That happens a lot. I just buy random stuff in and then I just don't talk about it. I found this and it looked a little bit different. It's, it's a monster, by the way. It looked a little bit different to the normal Deliciosa. It was sold to me as something else, but, but it's, it's not that. I know this monster that I'm about to pick up to be Monstera Deliciosa Brazil common form. And I don't know if everybody is going to be able to see the difference between this and a normal Deliciosa. I think if you have one at home, you might want to compare it to it because it's I can't really show you two plants at once because this thing is quite big. It's actually a few cuttings in one. So I'm going to hold it up now and I'm going to try and describe why it's different. There isn't really a reason why I haven't shown you guys. I just didn't get round to it really. I've just been letting these propagate in one pot. So this is this is him. Give me one moment to try and position him. This might be a nightmare to focus on so we'll see how it goes. Right yeah I'm not going to be in the frame with this but you know what we'll just have to deal with that. Basically can you see the shape of this monstera here that I'm twiddling in my hand? It's not the same as a regular Deliciosa. The edges of this part of the leaf here aren't flared, whereas they are on like a, a Borzigiana or a, a small form. Honestly, if you have the small form at home, you will be able to compare and you will see straight away how they're different. But I think if you don't have another one in front of you, it's one of those things where you can't exactly see the difference. Again, if I try and hold that up. You can see it's just not really the same. It's hard to explain, isn't it? It's just thinner and longer, I guess. I thought it might have been, um, is it Seriana? I don't think it is. I think this is just Brazil common form. So I've had it for a while. It's, it's, it's up in my face, it's up in my hair. And you can tell I've had it for a while because I'm propagating it at the minute. And all of them, I think all of the shoots have grown new plants. So at some point I will sell it, obviously. I don't know if there's a huge market for it. I think it just depends if you like the shape of it a little bit more compared to a regular Monstera. Again, I would pick one up, but the only ones I've got are on the wall. There's some down there, but they're literally growing into one another. So I can't really show you those. Just trust me when I say it is different. It's not a world of difference, don't get me wrong, it's nothing to really write home about, but it is different. You know what, when it grows in, it does look a bit different as well. You know what? Correct me if I'm wrong, I've never looked till now. Um, that shape looks different. Sorry, I can't really hold it up very well. It, it will try and focus on me, I'll try and block me out. That shape of leaf looks different to me, right there. That doesn't look the same. That's a bit bizarre, that. I don't know if you can see from the back that it looks different. Yeah, this is it's. This is probably why I haven't shown you because it's hard to show you the difference. There, that that might show it a little bit differently. It's just not quite the same as a normal Deliciosa. Yeah, I've had it for months, guys. 
I was just kind of letting it grow out and, and do its thing, I suppose, before I showed you. No particular reason at all. It's just, I keep forgetting about it because it kind of grows at the base of an aisle. It's in its own self-watering and I monitor it that way and it's just, everything's propagating together. So it's in a nice, neat little bush and I can keep it all together in case it gets confused with um, large form or any small form that I've got in the shop. Because um, I've got Monstera everywhere. It's, it's that's not okay. But honestly, on closer inspection of that, the, the juvenile leaves do look a bit different to me. That's really interesting, actually. I'm going to have to show Ben because I don't think Ben's seen that either. But that's a little monster that I've got. I got it ages ago. This isn't like a brand new haul of it. As you can see, I've got good growth coming out of it at the bottom there. Yeah, let me know what you think of that because I'm kind of curious to whether you can actually see the difference from not comparing it to a regular small form or, or anything. Let me know what you think. Right, so I'm going to grab the last plant. It's huge. Spoiler alert, it's basically this plant here. I'm just grabbing a slightly smaller one than I can show you. I'll tell you what it is before I pick it up. I have got in some very, very large philodendron linemii. They've taken a huge hit on shipping. If I step back, you might be able to see if I start touching this here. Yeah, they've taken a huge hit. If you see that there, yellow leaves. Huge though. I don't know if you can... Yeah, you can tell how big they are. Awesome, right? So many, so many leaves have taken a dive. Can you see this one here? Yeah. Just nasty, nasty. I don't know what's happened there, but they haven't done so well in shipping. So I'm going to hold up one now so you can kind of get a closer look, but it, it's not looking its best. As I say, this is a similar batch. It's less than a week old in terms of being in this shop. So I will lift it up for you so you can see how awesome it is because it does show the new leaf coming in. It is very pink. So I'll do my best here. This is leaf one. This is, this is quite beautiful. That is really nice. Look at that. See, that, see, that's possibly a thumbnail too, to be honest. That's quite nice. We like this. So yes, philodendron linamia. This is one leaf. This here, can you see? Yes. This is the next leaf. And the bit I really want to show you, I suppose, is the new leaf. That, that it's, it's bashed, guys. It really is bashed. But, you know, nothing like a dose of reality. I'm not one for pretending things look absolutely awesome when they don't. So this is a very bashed up new leaf. If you don't know about philodendron linamia, let me just rotate this again. When new leaves come in, they come in this gorgeous, gorgeous hot pink color and then they will eventually turn green. But that's fucking huge, isn't it? They're not for everybody, but they are pretty nice. They are similar to a couple of other plants of their kind. I do plan on doing a video about this and I will go through the differences so you can ID your own if you have something similar and you're not you're not sure what it is. But this is a true line on my eye, this one. A lot of the time you can tell on the, uh, the petiole insertion, which I might be able to shove in your face. Yeah, can you see the damage on that, by the way? Look at that. That's quite a bit of damage there. They haven't done very well at all in shipping. I've got a couple of smaller ones as well, and I don't think they've done very well either, have they? They're a little bit better because, you know, honestly, I find that a lot of the time you would think that smaller plants would travel worse when you ship them. But for a lot of plants, the larger the plant is, the worse it travels. So that's them. Very, very huge. I'll put them here for now. Also, by the way, I'm wearing one of my t-shirts. Uh, link is below if you'd like to buy one. This has got my logo on the front and I believe it's got something on the back, has it not? Yes, it's got my logo again on the back of the t-shirt. Really, really nice. Nice quality as well. You can find them in the link below if you are wondering what on earth this even is, because I didn't even talk about it, I've just realized. So that concludes today's plant haul. If you think you know what anything is that I essentially do not know what it is, feel free to leave a comment. No one's going to judge you if it's wrong. Um, I, I have no idea what genus of plant it even is. I do not know. It looks a little bit like a Discoria to me due to the weird way that the vines curl and stuff like that, but I don't really know, guys. So if you do know, let me know. Similarly, the weird philodendron that's one to ID as well. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. It really helps me out with the weird black box that is the YouTube algorithm. I mean, does anybody know how it works? No, not really. And if you'd like to see any more of my content, whether it be hauls, red plan indexes, other informational stuff, shop tours, oh God, anything, <laughs> anything, then please hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye, guys.